talking. I am going to make a video. Girl, we know we see that. I'm going to be doing a tier list from F to S of influencer video apologies. Okay, so I'm just going to record this part for the video because for some reason I don't have it. So the first influencer apology that we are going to look at today is Gabby De Martino. Um, and here, the controversy that surrounds this video, um, basically Gabby posted a video of toddler her lifting up her skirt onto her OnlyFans, okay? Okay. Yeah, you don't have to tell me how wrong that sounds. I know, I know. I just don't understand how she didn't realize how wrong that sounds. This video is going to touch on a very serious topic, so I'd like to insert a trigger warning. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Really wish you did this before you posted those pictures on your OnlyFans. Really wish you did that. Recently, my lack of judgment and poor decisions have led to a very, very serious issue that needs to be addressed. I owe it to you guys. As I was coming up with new ideas and new content, I was watching a home video with my family of myself as a three-year-old when my mom announced that she was pregnant with my younger brother. In that home video, I ruined a beautiful moment by telling everyone that I heard my nanny tell me to put my panties on through a stethoscope. It's a video that has brought back laughter and joy within my family for years, and I share never in a million years did I think something that I thought was so innocent could be looked in such an ugly way. And I think that's where the problem lies. I realized I'm so disattached with reality that it didn't even cross my mind that this could be viewed like this. And that's a serious issue. It's not. Okay. I think she left out the most important part. So this is the tier list. Kind of got cut off, but whatever. Um, Gabby, get... She gets a D for that. Man, she didn't fail the assignment, but she was really close to it. I would definitely give her an F. If part of me feels like she's just dumb as shit. One out the way, time for number two. Time for number two. This clip from an interview with... I can't remember, Renata. This clip with an interview with Renata um, was posted on mine. She was having an interview and was being way too fucking comfortable, in my opinion. According to Russian users on TikTok, that's the N-word. So, let's look at this. Negr. 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 Только негр. I don't speak Russian for anything. I don't understand Russian. Would never, so. But I heard her. I'm sorry, I just said it like, but. Never mind. I, I think I'll have to say it for demonstrative purposes. Here's the apology. Let's take a look. Hello, everyone. So, first, I want to say that I'm not speaking English well, and I'm translating this, and I'm reading this in my notes, so I don't say anything wrong or forget anything. I've seen the video going around and I wanted to make it clear that I didn't say the N word. Stop the cap! <laughs> around was taken out of context. I was being very sarcastic in this interview and I didn't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. I know how it feels to be hated for my nationality and I would never be racist towards anyone. Oh, okay. Renata, we were not born yesterday. You said the N word girl. You did. Stop trying to keep your fans. They're not gonna leave you. Just admit that you said it. You said it. Anyways, she gets an F. Homegirl completely failed the assignment. Also, I just wanted to say that these ratings are based off of the apologies themselves, not the story behind them. Okay, moving on. The next influencer I'm gonna be talking about today goes by the name Jasus. They are a they, them. JS. This came under uh, scrutiny for being fucking racist. <laughs> What's new? Like, what is new? Gotta say that she was a minor when this happened, by the way. Like, shit just got leaked. Like, come on, you guys. How do these people get so many followers? I just want a thousand. I just want a thousand, bro. In my past, I said disgusting things to people. 
and I am so ashamed of myself for using racist rhetoric and derogatory language to hurt others because I knew what that word meant and I understood the power behind it, but I said it anyway because it was the meanest thing that I could think of. And I am so sorry to everyone, but especially to those in the black community because only you guys and there are no justifications for what I said and you guys deserve better. And when I first saw the screenshots, I didn't even think that they were real because I forgot how hateful and how angry of a person I used to be. And it hurts my soul. Child, anyway, so. So back to the list. JS gets a C. I will give JS a C just because it was such a stereotypical social media apology. S sorry, it was such a stereotypical racist social media apology. So they get a C. I'm weak as hell because I try to press the tier list and I actually click this photo. So like, that's kind of funny. Alright, on to the next one. This one is actually very, very recent, I think. Not too sure. I saw Danny Gonzalez cover the story on his second channel. And... Wow. Now, this controversy isn't as much so controversial as it is, like... It just made the people that follow him lose a lot of trust in him. So basically, what Kyle was doing, um... He made this video acting like he was gonna prank his favorite local gas station called Come and Go, by the way. Come and Go, bro. And go by printing out a cardboard cutout of himself, um, advertising a fake meal, and just placed the freaking cardboard cutout in the Come and Go. However, he didn't tell anybody that this was really like an advertisement for Come and Go. None of the videos had hashtag ad on them. He just literally made it seem like it was a prank and it's so cringy watching the video after knowing that he knew what he's doing the whole time and he's like guys this is so crazy oh my gosh guys this is so crazy oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh guys i'll cut to the chase i my messed up and i'm sorry sucks. recently I i'm sorry but like right when i saw him say that on the um on the video on danny's channel and then danny said it when i was thinking it i'm like yo he literally sounds like my life fucking sucks girl I'll cut to the chase. I messed up and I'm sorry. Okay. Recently, Adweek posted an article about the Kyle Sheely Mealy in which they said that Come and Go was in on it from the beginning. And some people are understandably mad about that. The thing is, the way some people are reading that article is that Come and Go planned an elaborate corporate marketing stunt and they just hired me to pull it off. And that is not true. But on that call, they were like, what's your craziest idea? So I was like, what if I had my own influencer meal? I thought that was funny because one, I'm not famous. And two, the idea of a gas station having an influencer meal at all is funny to me. To my surprise, they were like, that's hilarious. Let's do it. A lot of things happened after that. But what didn't happen is what some people seem to infer from the Adweek article, which was that a corporate marketing team jumped in to plan and execute the whole thing. That just didn't happen at all. Instead, they just said, go make something fun. So I did. The vibe is kind of fake to me. It's like, I have to apologize so that I don't lose my fan base, but this one kind of gave me the, like, the vibe, like, yo, fuck y'all. <laughs> fuck y'all, actually. So, Kyle gets an E. He gets put on the E. He, he basically failed the assignment. Okay, up next is a TikToker named Nessa Barrett. I haven't heard of any of these TikTokers before. Maybe that's why I don't have any followers. Okay, so in this video, Nessa is apologizing for um, basically what she did was she did a TikTok dance to a man reciting the Quran. If you don't know what the Quran is, it is the um, basically the Bible equivalent to the religion Islam, or what Muslims uh, read, bro. So she did a TikTok dance to someone reciting the Quran, and this was her apology. I was scrolling on my free page and I saw a video of um, an old guy singing something and i didn't understand what he was saying the Quran. um but i really thought it was the cutest thing because he was what what the fuck what i don't know um my step siblings like my stepmom is from egypt and all that what stuff that so what does that mean i what? You know just that, that, that mom out of this girl it could have been taken offensively um 
I just want to apologize for anyone that took it that way and was offended. I think I'm sorry. I think I'm sorry. That- okay. So I did seven apologies to try and fill one apology for every letter. That's not gonna work because she gets this girl gets an F. She gets an F minus. That shit was terrible. Two more to go. Up next we have Gabby De Martino's sister, Nikki De Martino. Basically, what happened was that Nikki went to a nail salon to get her nails done, um, and was doing it to this it's Corona time trend. So she put on the mask and then showed the lady that was doing her nails, the nail tech, which was an Asian lady. And it just like, it gives off like a racist vibe, bro. It really truly does. I really don't care what anyone has to say. Like that shit is not funny. I apologize and say I'm sorry for everything that's gone down. Thank you for calling me out. And I'm sorry if I made any- Hey, you're welcome. (laughs) Anyone feel singled out or made fun of. I think what hurts me underneath all this is that people were hurt by it. vibe so uh we put on the mask and i filmed us getting our nails done with the mask to the song it's corona time i do also want to let you guys know i would have done that video regardless who was doing my nails i see everyone equally so i truly didn't see the problem till right. someone texted okay okay so besides the fact that she's trying to deny like obvious deliberate racism um i'm gonna give her a beat I'm gonna give her a B because she did acknowledge how much it hurt her to see how much she hurt other people. I'm just gonna give her a B. Apology number seven and then we out this bit. This is an example of a golden apology video. A golden social media apology video. And you guys already, we've all seen it. <laughs> we've all seen it. So we have <laughs> Micah and James Stoffer. Now, I can't remember their YouTube name exactly, but these were the- What? what? Girl, like, I didn't touch anything. These were- <laughs> these two were the YouTuber family vlog channel that adopted a special needs baby from China. Um, the doctor warned them, like, maybe don't adopt this baby, because it may be hard to deal with if you don't know how to deal with special needs kids. They were like, no, it's fine. I know what y'all was doing. So, um, yeah, they brought the baby back to America. The baby was difficult. Um, I think that all just filtered down into like, they, they they ended up giving the baby back away. Not back to China, but they gave the baby away. They adopted a baby, then gave the baby away. Do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. Anything that happened in the home that was hard f- that's not fair for me to put out there publicly. That's his privacy. This is not what we've ever wanted to hear. We've never wanted to be in this position. And we've been trying to get him, get his needs met and help him out as much as possible. It's really our his. Isn't it? And we truly love him. Medical professionals have felt that he needed a different fit in his medical needs. He needed more. A lot more special needs that we weren't aware of and that we were not to once Huxley came home. There was a lot more special needs that we weren't aware of and that we were not told. So when you get like insidious, hurtful comments, it just like really makes it hurt worse. Just like uh, Tom said in his video, where's your baby girl? Where's the baby love? Okay, I'm not saying like, I know their situation, but okay. Okay, so just my opinion, um, this has got to be probably one, or if not, one of the best apology videos I've ever seen on social media, just because of how the atmosphere is. The clothes, the, sh- the freaking bed, they both crying. Let's just say that they didn't, they didn't adopt this baby for clout and for engagement on their YouTube channel. Let's just say that they get an S tier apology. Now, given that they did do that, which I do think is the case, it's an F. And it's F's in the chat because like, really? And yep, that's it for this <laughs> influencer apology tier list. I had a blast doing this. I'm gonna do this shit again for sure. <laughs>